DM Podcast, a.k.a. Daily Minutes, number 1612. This is today's podcast for May 2019. This is our bulletin of Saturday. Well, my voice is crackling a bit. Today's bulletin will be almost entirely in English. But first we will start with some announcement in Dutch. Some announcements. Vandaag hebben we het uh, RSGB nieuws in de versie van TX Factor. Daarnaast hebben we vandaag weer een keer data. Data begint bij het 8 PSK 1000 bij 1500 hertz. Dat is de tekst van het nieuws van WIE van morgen. Daarna is er een zeer grote afbeelding behorend bij een de-expeditie van V31AK naar Belize. Die is in MFSK 128 ook bij 1500 hertz. Overigens schakelt alles automatisch. Today we have the RSGB news in the version of TX Factor. In addition to that, totally at the end of our podcast, we have two items in digital data which you can receive with FL Digi with RXID switched to on. If you do that, everything will switch automatically. First in our data segment, we will have the WIA news for tomorrow in 8 PSK 1000 at 1500 Hz. After that, there's a really beautiful and very large photo in MFSK 128 at 1500 Hz, which belongs to a de-expedition to Belize. Hello, this is Bob McCready, G0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain for Sunday the 5th of May 2019. The news headlines, new RSGB talks online, ARDF champs in Thames Valley and NRC visitor figures rise. After the formal proceedings and the trophy presentations at the recent RSGB AGM, attendees were treated to an introductory talk on Qatar Oscar 100, the new geostationary satellite. Noel Matthews, Golf 8, Golf Tango Zulu, Dave Crump, Golf 8, Golf Kilo Quebec, and Phil Crump, Mike Zero, Delta Mike Yankee, gave an introduction to the QO100 amateur transponders on the SHL-2 commercial satellite, which was launched in February. It has already seen many stations making contacts across a third of the globe on the narrowband voice data and wideband DATV transponders. The presentation included a brief history of how the project came about, an overview of equipment required to operate QO100 and a demonstration of the web SDR and spectrum monitor. You can listen to the talk and view the presentation slides at tinyurl.com slash gb2rs hyphen 0505a for alpha. So that's tinyurl.com slash gb2rs hyphen 0505 alpha. And by the way, all the letters in that are capitals. This bank holiday weekend sees the annual three-day RSGB ARDF championship taking place in the Thames Valley. The areas chosen are Christmas Common near Wendover, Whiteleaf near Princess Risborough and Hodgemore Woods near Amersham. The competitions will comprise classic ARDF events on 144 MHz and 3.5 MHz on two of the days, with the final day devoted to the two short format variants. More information is available on the ARDF pages of the RSGB website. 9,092 visitors went to the RSGB National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park in April, bringing the total in the first four months to 27,077. That's nearly three times more than the 9,355 in the same period last year. The radio room in the NRC will have reduced access on the morning of Tuesday the 7th of May, and the NRC will remain open to visitors, but access to the radio room will be restricted as filming will be taking place. And uh, I think it's fair enough to explain that that will be us from TX Factor there doing some filming about the Qatar Q0100 satellite for a future edition of TX Factor. We apologise for any inconvenience, but this means that any visiting radio amateurs won't be able to operate the station GB3RS until after midday. RSGB Club Insurance and Beacon and Repeater Insurance has now been renewed for the year to April 2020. Club insurance certificates can be downloaded from the RSGB website. Please use your membership services login to obtain a copy of your certificate. And to ensure that your Beacon and Repeater is covered under the RSGB insurance, a £10 admin fee is required and you may renew this via the RSGB shop. Please allow a couple of days after renewal for your certificate to be dispatched. 
At the IARU Region 1 interim meeting last week, a special Sunday morning session that focused on enhanced VHF microwave activities was kicked off by John Renault, Golf 4 Sierra Whiskey X-Ray, the RSGB VHF manager. Joining the meeting by Skype, John explained how the UK had gained access to the experimental 71 and 146 megahertz bands for digital innovation. Amongst other things, this had fostered groundbreaking developments in reduced bandwidth digital ATV by BAT. C, which has transformed activity on VHF and UHF. More recently, this innovative work has supported the IARU WRC 19 case for 50 MHz and has also proved to be a popular mode on the new Q0100 geostationary satellite. Details on this at tinyurl.com slash gb2rs hyphen 0505b tinyurl.com slash gb2rs hyphen 050b remember all the letters in capitals SOS Radio Week has started and will continue until the end of May. This annual event raises awareness of the amazing work that the brave volunteers of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution perform and to honour the volunteer watchkeepers of the National Coast Watch Institution who provide eyes around the coast of the UK to observe and report potential disasters unfolding that technology cannot detect. For further information, visit sosradioweek.org.uk. The UK DX Foundation will be holding its convention, dinner and 2019 AGM at the Link Hotel in Loughborough on Saturday the 11th of May. The programme includes the AGM in the morning, afternoon DX and technical talks and an evening dinner with plenty of time for socialising in between. Members, XYLs and non-members are welcome. Booking details can be found on the CDXC website at cdxc.org.uk. cdxc.org.uk New videos have been added to both the RSGB members section of the website and the RSGB YouTube channel for anyone to view. Members can view Tropo Scatter on the VHF bands by Pal Hansen, Oscar Zulu 1 Romeo Hotel and Cesar Trifu, Victor Echo 3 Lima Yankee Charlie talking about the IOTA de expedition to Hotel 44 Romeo and Hotel 40 Delta. Available on the RSGB YouTube channel is Why the Digital Mode PI4 is a Success for Beacons by Bo Hansen, Oscar Zulu 2 Mike, and Ian White, Golf Mike 3 Sierra Echo Kilos Talk on VHF Balance. Fact and fancy. Go to rsgb.org slash videos to find these and many more interesting talks. And now for the details of rallies and events for the coming week. The 6th of May sees the 35th Dartmoor Radio Club Rally at the Butchers Hall, Pannier Market, Tavistock. Entrance to the rally will be from the square and doors open at 10am. Admission is £2. There'll be traders at Bringham By and an RSGB bookstall. Refreshments will be available and Roger to Echo Zero Romeo Papa Hotel can tell you more on 07854 088 882 or email to echo0 Romeo Papa Hotel at gmail.com. There's no rallies in the diary for next weekend, the 11th and 12th of May. And remember to get your event into Radcom, onto GB2RS, and on the RSGB website. Please send details as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk. The print cycle means we need to know four months in advance to get your information into Radcom. Next up, it's the DX News from 425 DX News and other sources. Brian, Golf Whiskey 4, Delta Victor Bravo, will be operating a small holiday de expedition from the 6th to the 15th of May to Palm Island, also known as Prune Island, IOTA reference November Alpha 025. This is in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. He'll be using the call sign Juliet 88 Papa India from the locator Fox Kilo 92 Hotel Oscar. QSL is direct only to P.O. Box 2020, and that's Ranran, uh, that's two L's, A N H A R A N, and uh, apologies for the pronunciation, Ponty Clun, P O N T Y C L U N, and that's Wales, and the postcode Charlie Fox 729 Zulu Alpha. Andre, Romeo 9 Yankee Uniform, will be active as Juliet Tango 9 slash Romeo 9 Yankee Uniform from Mongolia until the 12th of May. He's going to be operating SSB on the 40, 20 and 15 metre bands. QSL direct to his home call and note he does not use Logbook of the World or Club Log. Mike, Alpha Charlie Zero, Papa Romeo will be on the air as Oscar Alpha 3 slash Alpha Charlie Zero, Papa Romeo from Peru between the 5th and the 11th of May. Activity will be limited to his spare time, so 
though most likely in one-hour sessions on the 40 to 10 metre bands using QRP CW. QSL is via his home call and logbook of the world. Burned Delta Lima 9 Lima Bravo Romeo will be active as Oscar Zulu slash Delta Lima 9 Lima Bravo Romeo from Farno Island, Echo Uniform 125 until the 11th of May. All QSOs will be confirmed automatically via the Bureau. Roland Delta Lima 1 Echo Alpha Lima will be active as Papa Alpha slash Delta Lima 1 Echo Alpha Lima from Texel Island, Echo Uniform 038 until the 9th of May. He prefers CW and all digital modes and will be operating holiday style on the 40, 20, 15 and 10 metre bands. QSL via his home call, either direct or via the Bureau, EQSL and Lockbook of the World. Special events news now, and from the 4th to the 31st of May, Golf Bravo 9 SOS will be operating as part of SOS Radio Week. The station will be operating on as many different HF and VHF bands as possible during the 28 days the station will be active. The station will be operating from 1900 to 2100 UTC on weekdays and 0900 to 1600 UTC at weekends. Further details at DOCSVRUK, D O C S V R U K dot com slash g8 xqb so that's docs d-o-c-s-v-r-u-k dot com slash g8 xqb pubs and clubs on the air is taking place between the 10th and 12th of may and you can find more details on that at g6tw.org.uk golf6tangowhiskey.org.uk and Cumbran ARC will be operating from Clanraven Mill Clanraven Way in Cumbran on the 11th and 12th of May for Mills on the Air and visitors very welcome for that one Windmill Amateur Radio DX Group will also be taking part in Mills on the Air on the 11th and 12th of May from Wilton Windmill in Wilton near Mar- Marlborough in Wiltshire using the call sign Golf Bravo 1 Whiskey Whiskey. Many other club stations will be taking part in Mills on the Air and the details we've been given are in the relevant parts of the local news as well. So check that out. And remember, you can hear the local news from the local amateur radio station that provides that service in your area. Or if you go to the RSGB website under news, you'll find a transcript there. Please send your special event details to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as possible for free publicity on GB2RS in Radcom and online. And as we always remind you, stations using UK special event call signs must be open to the public so our free publicity can help make your efforts more widely known. Contest news next and the UK 6 metre group summer marathon runs until the 4th of August. Using all modes on the 50 megahertz band, the exchange is just your four character locator. The 432 megahertz to 248 gigahertz trophy contest ends its 24 hour run at 1400 UTC on Sunday the 5th. Using all modes, the exchange is signal report, serial number and locator. The ARI International DX Contest ends its 24-hour run on Sunday the 5th at 1200 UTC using CW phone and RTTY on the 3.5 to 28 megahertz contest bands. The exchange is signal report and serial number with Italian stations also sending their province code. Also Sunday the 5th of May, the UK Microwave Group's contest runs from 0800 to 1400 UTC using all modes on the 1.3 to 3.4 gigahertz bands. The exchange is signal report, serial number and locator. Also on Sunday, the IRTS 40 metre counties contest runs. That's from 1200 to 1400 UTC using SSB and CW. The exchange is signal report and serial number and Irish stations also send their county. On Tuesday, the 144 MHz Machine Generated Modes Activity Contest runs. That's from 1800 to 1855 UTC with the exchange of signal report, serial number and four-character locator. It takes place at the same time as the 144 MHz FM Activity Contest. Both are immediately followed by the all-mode 144 MHz UK Activity Contest running from 1900 to 2130 UTC. And the exchange for the FM AC and the UK AC is signal report, serial number and locator. On Thursday, the 50 MHz machine-generated mode activity contest runs from 1800 to 1855 UTC. The exchange is signal report, serial number and four-character locator and it will be immediately followed by the all-mode 50 MHz UK activity contest running from 1900 to 2130 UTC and the exchange for this contest is signal report, serial number and locator. 
On Sunday the 12th of May, the 70 MHz CW contest runs from 0900 to 1200 UTC. The exchange for that one, signal report, serial number, locator and postcode. Also on Sunday the 12th, the Worked All Britain 40 metre phone contest will be running from 1000 to 1400 UTC. Using SSB only, the exchange's signal report, serial number and WAB area. Now the propagation report compiled by Golf Zero, Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3, Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4, Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 3rd of May. Well, it's now May and that means the sporadic E season has started. There have already been some sporadic E openings on 10 metres, but the best is yet to come. Meanwhile, a lack of sunspots and continuing coronal hole activity means F2 layer DX is a little harder to come by. Last week's International Marconi Day saw some reports of poor conditions, but with a few propagation nuggets to keep the spirits up. Golf Bravo Zero, Charlie Mike Sierra at Caster Lifeboat in Norfolk, worked 36 countries, including eight US states, and a contact with Indonesia on 20 metres. So there is propagation about if you look for it. NOAA predicts the solar flux index will remain around 68 to 72 next week and we can expect unsettled geomagnetic conditions this weekend with a maximum K index of 4. Once that has passed, the rest of the week should be more settled. This is due to a large elongated coronal hole on the solar surface, the same one that was responsible for poor geomagnetic conditions on Thursday the 2nd of May. By next weekend, we may see the return of sunspot groups 2738 and 2739 as they rotate into view again. The Stereo Ahead spacecraft shows they have been active, emitting solar flares and coronal mass ejections, so we might be in for a bumpy ride. Otherwise, the HF bands are starting to stay open longer in the evening as we move towards summer, but a change in the ionospheric chemistry may mean we have to wait until the autumn to see the return of optimum DX conditions. And finally, the VHF and UP propagation news and the weather charts for next week appear to be fully tilted towards the unsettled side, with low pressure either over the country or close by. At first, this weekend, there is a weak ridge of high pressure near western parts of Britain, but it will soon decline and doesn't look good for Tropo. The sporadic E season has started for traditional modes now, with paths opening into Spain on the 24th and Eastern Europe on the 26th on CW and SSB. To keep up to date, use PropQuest. .co.uk, P-R-O-P-Q-U-E-S-T, .co.uk to see the daily weather jet stream charts with a sporadic e-blog detailing possible areas of interest. The main advice is to follow the jet streams and check the clusters. There is a reasonable link between meteor debris and potential sporadic e, so the ETA aquarids peaking tomorrow should keep the enthusiasm going. Look out for rain scatter on the gigahertz bands due to the heavy showers that are likely to be a feature of the coming week. The bigger storms with hail and thunder are the most promising and you'll be able to track them down using one of the many online weather displays. The moon reaches a maximum declination this coming Thursday and path losses are falling as it moves into perigree a week on Monday, so it's a good week for EME. And that's all from the propagation team for this week. A quick reminder that if you want to catch up with the local amateur radio news for your area, then you can tune in to the amateur radio station that provides that service for your region, or you can check out a full transcript on the RSGB website under news, where you'll also find a full transcript of this broadcast. I'm Bob McCready, G0 FGX, and this has been the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Deze minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl Whoever hears this is crazy. En microfoon naar het toer. Abonneer je nu op de podcast van de Daily Minutes. De website van de podcast is dmpodcast.net. DM is kort voor Daily Minutes, dus dmpodcast.net. Bij de feed van de podcast komen er nog een breukstreep en vier letters bij. Breukstreep F-E-E-D. dmpodcast.net, schuine streep F-E-E-D. Subscribe now for this podcast, dmpodcast.net slash feed. dmpodcast.net slash feed. DM is Delta Mike.